welcome back to my kitchen. I just got back yesterday afternoon from Nepal. I had an amazing trip. I'm gonna be putting some photos and updates on our Facebook page, so make sure you check it out in the next few days. And if I seem a little off today, um, it's probably from the jet lag. It's about 1.30 a.m. in Nepal, so my body's probably about to fall asleep. But um, today, I wanna to bring you a simple and very delicious recipe. I'm gonna be making a delicious steak with some soup potato puree and some sauteed vegetables on the side. So let's get started. First thing you wanna do is season the steak. I usually do this 20 minutes before I start cooking. You wanna be generous with the seasoning because a lot of this is gonna cook off. And also, this is the perfect time to start rubbing dry herbs if you are not using fresh herbs. So do that on both sides. And you wanna set this aside and cut all of your other veggies. All right, so today I'm making sweet potato puree and I'm just gonna peel the sweet potato first. And I'm using ginger as my spice because sweet potato and ginger go so well together. So just peel this. All right, so just cut this into medium-sized cubes. Cut it in half first. All right, now next we're gonna boil the sweet potato, but start with cool water and then bring it to a boil. All right, so place the sweet potatoes in the water. Make sure you salt it so that the sweet potato is seasoned while it's boiling. So next we're gonna get the veggies ready to go with the steak. Just chop everything so we can toss it all into the pan when it's ready to be cooked. All right, so it's best to sneak in kale whenever you're cooking. So today I'm gonna sneak it in with a mushroom and spinach, just chop it up really fine. And it actually tastes really delicious with steak. All right, you will have a green onion in your delivery this week. Chop this into half just like that, and then slice it. We're gonna cook this with the mushroom and spinach and kale too. It's gonna give it a delicious fragrance. All right, so the sweet potato is ready. You should boil it probably for about 15 minutes or so, depending on how much sweet potatoes you're boiling. But the perfect test is by putting the knife through like that. So this is ready. Turn the heat off and we're gonna strain this. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make the sweet potato puree now. And I'm gonna place some white pepper just a pinch more of salt, and a splash of either half and half or milk. And you wanna just check out how it turns out in the blender before you add more. And probably about a tablespoon of butter. All right, I'm gonna use a very small piece of ginger because I'm using this raw. You can use ginger powder if you don't have fresh ginger. Give this a blend really quick. So get a pan nice and hot, probably on medium to high heat. I have this cast iron on medium heat for a couple of minutes. Get olive oil in here, swirl it around. And now take your steak, drop it in, and make sure you don't touch it for about a minute or two so it sears nicely. Okay, so we're just gonna crush a couple cloves of garlic for the steak. Add a couple of pieces of butter. Add the crushed garlic right in. And I'm using rosemary leaves and thyme leaves. So let this cook. And now it's time to turn the steak. See how nice and seared it is? And you can take this garlic rub it on top. Today I'm cooking a thinner piece of steak, so I'm not gonna have to finish it in the oven. And if you're just cooking the steak on a stove, you wanna just touch it just like that to see if it's done. And to test, basically you would use your hand. This would be rare, this would be medium, and this would be well done. So just check it, and then you can remove the steak whenever it's done to your liking. So I've added onion in here, and my steak is pretty much done. I've cooked it for about four and a half, five minutes and I'm just gonna remove it and let it rest on a plate. All right, so now that the steak is out, I'm gonna cook the mushrooms, the onion, and 
The rest of the veggie is right in the pan. It's still nice and hot. And it has all the steak drippings and the spices in here too. So let that cook for just a minute while the steak is resting. And you can add in the spinach and kale just at the end so it wilts really nice. All right, so it's time to plate the food and I always say this, to make a restaurant quality dish, you wanna layer your food. So I have the sweet potato at the bottom and it's nice and rich in color. All right, so next is greens and mushroom. So layer that just on top and you'll have a couple of pieces of really nicely sauteed garlic. It's gonna go so delicious with the steak. Make sure you place it in the plate. And now it's time to plate the steak. It smells so delicious. I know it's gonna taste really yummy. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and have an amazing week.